Cancer cure smoking. Cancer cure smoking. Cancer cure smoking. Why don't carnage cure war? War is over if you want it. That's what John and Yoko said. But the question is, do you want it? That's what someone else said. Who said it? I don't know. I didn't say it. George Orwell didn't say it. He just warned against it. And in the future, that war is all we'd ever do. Well, guess what? The future is here and George was right. That's all we ever do. We fight. What's the difference between a Muslim extremist and a Christian extremist? It's whether we go to war. When it's a Christian extremist, we say, oh, well, gosh, that was awful. I wish we could have done something about it. But the killer and the victim all have blonde hair and blue eyes. There must be some Hitler youth infighting. You know, like gangs in L.A. in the 80s. Cancer cure smoking, cancer cure smoking, cancer cure smoking, why don't carnage cure war? Colors, you know, Bloods and Crips, Ice-T sung it, Sean Penn and Michael Corleone's consigliere acted in it, an easy rider, he directed it, except in this case we're talking about the Knights Templar versus the brown shirts, red and blue, but this time more like blonde versus brown. It's all still fighting, right? Or is it? Is it just more dead people for no reason whatsoever? Well, Glenn Beck should be ashamed. Not that he's nearly as bad as the guy who did it. Glenn just feeds into it. He's like the slop for hogs feeding the crazy trough. He's fuel for the fire. He is justification, all the reasoning needed for a monster who's not quite sure about being a monster. Just yet. Oh, cancer cure smoking. Cancer cure smoking. Cancer cure smoking, why don't carnage cure war? Glennon is kind of the vulture, not so quietly jumping up and down just on the edge of the scales of justice. They're in search of fresh meat, another shooting of a U.S. congresswoman or a mass murder in some blue-eyed country. Well, he's right there to feed on the carnage, but I've gotten off topic. If we're looking at who's really to blame, it's the game that's all the shame. It's Big Farm, it's 24-7 TV, it's fast food, it's high fructose corn syrup and thiamine mononitrate. No wonder we're all out of balance. All it takes is just one who's a little more out of balance than the rest, and then we got a shooting. Of course, since we're all so out of balance, carnage has become what we want. We crave carnage. Cancer cure smoking, cancer cure smoking, cancer cure smoking, why don't carnage? Cure war. I mean, does anyone watch NASCAR or UFC or a cockfight thrown by Michael Vick for any other reason to see someone or something get hurt? Of course not. It's bloodlust. Put it on TV, feed it the machine, send out the web bots in search of carnage to consume. Well, while we're at it, does anyone know of new wars or catastrophes we can film? No, I suppose we could create one. A little more fracking, we'll have some earthquakes on our hands. If the overall temperature of the earth gets too high, we can just start a massive faux volcanic eruption to the sky, creating a cloud barrier to prevent any sunlight getting in, thus bringing the temperature of the earth down. That should do it, right? Oh, cancer cure smoking, cancer cure smoking, cancer cure smoking, why don't carnage cure war? Ah, no, wait, we're feeding into our bloodlust here, right? something horrible to put on TV. We really can and we will just start another war. That's it. Well, I did not think of this before. What's France up to? Oh, wait. They helped us get independence, give us our Statue of Liberty, a country full of mostly Christian white people. Hmm. Germany? No, after the first two world wars, uh, well, they really cleaned up their image. And again, the whole Christian white people thing. I know. How about the Buddhists? They don't fight. That's weird. I just uh, would have thought the whole swastika thing. Or was that the Hindus? Uh, who can keep it straight? No, you're right. What about the Muslims? They've got some extremists. That's what I'm talking about. If only we could think of some Muslim countries to invade. Cancer cure smoking. Cancer cure smoking. Cancer cure smoking. Why don't carnage cure war? The Middle East has got the world's biggest oil supply and they're Muslim. This is too good to be true. It's a win-win situation. If we go to war against a Muslim oil-rich country, we could get just about everyone everywhere charged up about this war forever. I think we found ourselves a winner. Now we just gotta find something to go to war for. But do we want it? I know I, for one, not so much.
However, I for one believe everything I read on bumper stickers. That's why I always say, move asshole, a million sperm and you are the fastest one. And ban abortion, eat the young instead. Well, I for one say that cancer cures smoking. Why don't carnage cure war? Cancer cures smoking, cancer cures smoking, cancer cures smoking, why don't carnage cure war? Haven't we all seen enough carnage for one lifetime? Could it, would it be possible if we all turned off all our TV sets, there'd be no more need for carnage, no more need for war, no more need for nothing to feed into? No. Well, we all have that taste of delicious oil in our mouth still. So why not go cold turkey on that conundrum as well? Oh yeah, industry, lobbyists, men behind closed doors, shaking hands. Well, they could be gotten rid of too. Just remember, war is over if you want it. The question is, do you? Do you, punk? Oh, Hollywood, you want me over with your one-liners. I want more Dirty Harry. So I'm gonna get to work on casting the remake. Stat, does Clint Eastwood have a son? Yes? Oh, I like the sound of that. I like that. Oh, cancer cures smoking, cancer cures smoking, cancer cures smoking, why don't carnage cure war? Cancer cures smoking, cancer cures smoking, cancer cures smoking, why don't carnage cure war? Cure war. Here